Hey everybody, welcome to a new episode of The Good, The Bad and The Bitcoin. My name is Dirk Hartig and I'm your guide when it comes to trading cryptocurrencies, forex and indices. And boy oh boy, of course today we need to talk about cryptocurrencies or more specifically Bitcoin with a stellar performance that we've seen. And once again, Bitcoin did what Bitcoin likes to do with rising from the mid 60s to almost 72,000 US dollars within not even 24 hours. Well, you don't see that usually with Forex, you don't usually see that with uh, stocks. But with cryptocurrencies, we see that all the time. So going forward now, of course, it is the question how you as a trader can profit from this short term, meaning how is the price development of Bitcoin likely to continue for the next days and weeks. And in the second part of this video, I want to talk a little bit also about long term perspectives to see where are we currently in the bull run? Are we really in a bull run? And where might the bull run be heading the upcoming months and maybe one to one and a half years? So stay tuned. It's going to be a very interesting episode. Hey, welcome back. Good to see you. And before we start, you know what's coming now. Please leave me a like and subscribe to the channel because this is really the only way the YouTube algorithm notices small content creators like myself. Appreciate it. Thank you. Now, in order to understand what just happened here with Bitcoin, we need to dial the uh, wheel of time a little bit back. Actually, not that much back, because what I've been talking about really since pretty much uh, mid of March, when we saw that last high here at 73,500 US dollars um, has happened. I, I said, well, in order to understand how we're going forward, first of all, we need to understand when the next bull market low, so to say, is going to appear probably. And for me, that was the time here between the halving and uh, about um, one and a half months after the halving. So talking about the beginning of June here, well, we saw it came actually a little bit earlier in this red square box where I said I expect the next um, bull market low to be uh, kind of here. Now, whether the question where the bull market low uh, would be, I actually said here on the 1st of May, actually on the 27th of April, that it's very likely that we are going to test the so-called bull market support bands, but that these uh, test of these bull market support bands would be a very, very good area to buy Bitcoin once again, and maybe even the last chance to buy it sub 60,000. And we really saw this coming true. So we saw bull, uh, Bitcoin pulling back to its bull market support bands. Why did this happen? Why wasn't I surprised by this? Well, because this is what Bitcoin likes to do in a bull market. Once it closes uh, on a weekly level, that is, so that's a daily chart, but we want to look at weekly levels here. Uh, once it closes below its eight weeks moving average, that's the blue line here, it tends to go all the way down sooner or later to the red and yellow line, the so-called bull market support bands. That is a 20 weeks uh, moving, uh, simple moving average and a 21 weeks simple moving average. And this is what happened. Uh, we saw touching it here around uh, 57 to uh, 58,000 US dollars. And now once again, we are above the eight weeks moving average, which gives me hope that we might actually see a new all-time high in the upcoming days and weeks. More on that later, however, if we look at the picture here from a more general view of technical analysis uh, on what happened here, we can see, let me speed up this a little bit, we can see, and I said this uh, as well on Telegram, uh, as well on Twitter, as on the Telegram group. By the way, for the Telegram group, you'll find a link in the description of this video. That in order to break out of this mini bear structure with lower highs and uh, lower lows, we need to make a new high higher than about 65,500 euro. And for sure, we did this. And now the question is, of course, because we broke out so nicely, look how Bitcoin bro uh, broke out and then pulled back here to the 21 uh, and 50 days moving average or hours moving average in this case, um, just to go then parabolic. And in order to understand how the price is probably going to 
behave now in the future, we want to have a look at the following. I added here again my so-called Spaceman BTC key levels. Um, if you don't know what this indicator is, I recently did a video how to use this indicator. I'm going to leave it a link to this one up here. Uh, basically, in a nutshell, you see now here that we have our current year high, which is at uh, around about 73,800 um, US dollars. So that's also the all-time high of Bitcoin that we made this year. We have a previous month high. Hard to believe that we were already that high the previous month in April, right? We have the quarterly open and the daily open here. With daily open, not that important, but we have three areas that act of zone as uh, that act as zones of resistance aligned here. So typical, what you see is that the price will struggle here a little bit. Maybe even we see something like this here with a price uh, pulling back to the twenty one. Um, hours moving average or maybe even the 50 hours moving average then breaking out and once this breakout appears doesn't really matter if it's like within the next hour or in a couple of days down the road um, you want to have your buy orders ready on the pullback here to the quarterly open and if Bitcoin manages really to overcome these resistance levels well then Basically, the path is open to what I sketched out here in the beginning of May. So this is really something I drew in the beginning of May. If you don't believe me, let me show you here. 30th of April, this graphic stems from. So the typical path we see after uh, seeing the bull market support, uh, after testing the bull market support bands really would be here to see a nice breakout, small pullback, and then really the journey until end of May, mid of June, we are talking about here, could be all the way up to uh, above 80,000 for sure, maybe even above 90,000 or 95,000 US dollars. So what does that mean for you as a trader? If you want to, let's say, as a swing trader, profit from this, well, as I just said now, there is really no need, in my opinion, to force yourself now into a long position. You want to take the smart trades here, and the smart trades are, if you still believe that we are going to overcome this structure of resistance here at the green line, which is the 20 days moving average, and at the red line, which is the 50 days moving average. The stop loss would be underneath the blue line here, which is the 200 days moving average. And remember the risk reward ratio, two to one, all also things I described for you in my trading course, uh, which I'm going to link for you, of course, also in the end of this video. This is usually a structure we sh uh, should see. If we go down below the 200 days moving average, well, then it doesn't mean that we are entering a bear market, but probably this structure would be delayed. However, my bet is on something like either breaking out immediately over is it uh, and pulling back to the quarterly open or testing here the 21 um, hours moving average or the 50 hours moving average. However, going forward, it doesn't really matter that much, in my opinion, because you know, my mantra is always when in doubt, zoom out. If we look here at our logarithmic regression channel, we see that we are well in the zone that is to be expected after a halving. Let's zoom out a little bit or have a look at what happened after the halving of 2020. We can see here, for example, that until price really went parabolic and definition of parabolic would be here breaking out over the upper green limit of the green channel here where price normally is. Uh, this is where, when usually the parabolic move uh, starts appearing here. That took actually almost 180 days. So we're talking about almost half a year, six months of more sideways consolidation. If we look back to 2016, things are even worse in my opinion because until we really broke out of this channel, we are talking about 300 days. So shy under one year of trading a little bit up way, sideways until really this, this parabolic move to the upside began. Now, this year, after the halving of 2022, could it be different? Well, yes, it could be different, of course, but as a trader, we always need to assume that things, that history is going to repeat itself. So we still have really some time. If we talk about half a year until prices really start uh, going parabolic, 
that would put us here to uh, mid of October. One year will would put us well into the first quarter of, of next year. So by theory, the market still has a lot of time. Now, one thing that could happen here that could initiate a prior um, parabolic move is, of course, the additional demand we are seeing from the Bitcoin spot ETFs, plus that uh, something beautiful is happening right now here. So this chart is the so-called Bitcoin power law by an Italian scientist called Giovanni. Um, leave him a like, really. Uh, he's one of the, in my opinion, serious scientists out there that look at Bitcoin not from a technical point of view, but really from a mathematical science point of view. You don't see that very often. And he says, well, Bitcoin is a power law, meaning history is always repeating itself. Itself. Uh, we have a bottom, then we have a transition from, uh, from bear to bull, a transition to full bull, followed by a top, followed by a bottom. And what we're seeing right now, don't be confused here that this line is pointing down, doesn't mean we're going to make a new line, is that we crossed at precisely 42,300 US dollar the transition into the bull mode, meaning we are going to see the transition to full bull in the beginning of January 2010-5, so where the market really is going to go parabolic again. Now remember what I said to you just now, if we look at the logarithmic regression 180 days into the future, the usual time it takes Bitcoin really to enter this parabolic uh, bull market puts us at October 360 days into the future, puts us into the first quarter of 2025. So that's very suitable uh, if we look at what to expect from the Bitcoin power law. Now, this could be invalidated if we cross this thick black line here, which currently is trading at around 81,000 US dollars, because that could spark a prior parabolic run. And Although we've never seen something like this, this could be a possibility because of the new all-time high that we made already prior to the halving. Maybe, you know, this cycle is going to be a bit premature, which also would mean that it could end a little bit premature. But we have to see, we have to observe, obviously, how things are going to develop. Once again, let me summarize. If you are currently a swing trader, you are in for the more short-term things. You want to have a look at this green line, the 21 uh, hours exponential moving average build potential uh, long positions up there. You want to have a look at the red line here, the 50 hours exponential moving average. And especially you want to eye the chart if a price should go down below the 200 hours exponential moving average. So all three of these points are points where as a swing trader, I would consider to top up my Bitcoin long position again. If you don't have yet an exchange and you're looking for a non-KYC exchange, I'll leave a link to two exchanges for you in the description and pinned comment of this video. Both exchanges I use personally that I trust and where I'm pretty certain that they don't run away with your money. Well, it's a bit of a shame that you have to consider something like this uh, nowadays, but we've all seen with the likes of FTX how things can go sometimes. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like and subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment on how you think this bull market is going to end. I'm going to see you again very, very soon. Take care, everybody, and happy investing.